all time. This is for the month of May. It's a little bit late, but we're here highlighting all the stuff that I bought in the month of May, which uh, surprisingly was not a whole lot. There are, I think, eight or nine books that are missing that simply did not arrive in time, but you'll see them eventually. Don't worry about it. Let's start with manga, because manga is cool. Continuing my nautical adventure, here we have volumes, I want to say, 21 and 22 of One Piece. Here are the covers for both books. This is volume 3 of Ran and the Grey World, Hunter x Hunter. We, here we have volume 32, 33, 34, and volume 35. I do believe, as of this video, that 36 is coming out in a couple months. So that's it for manga. Uh, next up, some comics. Of Unfortunately, uh, I couldn't feature Omnis and other uh, oversized hardcovers that I got, but eventually I'll talk about them on this channel. I did, however, get a couple books that I've been meaning to read. This was recommended to me by two awesome people, Kristen from Fangirls Assemble and the Omni Dog himself, Just Bragg. I got Sheets. I've heard nothing but great things about this from the internet and of course my two friends and I cannot wait to dig into this and read it and do a video on this wonderful book uh, for everybody on this channel. This is another Omnidog uh, recommendation if you will. It is Skyward Volume 1 from Image Comics. Uh, here we have Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark, The Witching Hour and holy crap this is easily one of my favorite covers of 2019. I love this cover so much. And yeah, I love Wonder Woman. She's one of my favorite superheroes. And I love Justice League Dark, one of my favorite teams in comics. A pairing made in heaven, and I cannot wait to dig into this. And uh, volume two of Kill Six Billion Demons. You can see that this is a little bit larger than a regular hardcover or a, uh, a regular trade. So that's it for books. I, I know, it's, it's pretty small. Let's finish things off with movies, and in this case, a whole ton of anime. Uh, finally, I loved watching this online over at Crunchyroll, so I had to pick up the uh, set. This is Mob Psycho 100. I like this a lot more than One Punch Man. This was a fantastic series. Season 2 is even better, so I can't wait for that to be released on Blu-ray. Uh, Hunter x Hunter, like I mentioned, I, here I have the first three sets. Uh, we do have number 4 on the way. I haven't gotten number 5. Number 6 just got solicited. So I can't wait to... Um, I want to do an update video for my anime collection, but I want to make it when I have this in its entirety because this is one of my favorite animes of all time. I love this so much. So yeah, uh, set one, number two, and here we have volume three of one of the greatest Shonen Jump titles ever, in my opinion. Uh, next up, something that I wasn't going to get, and then I... Uh, I was and then I didn't and then I ended up getting it. It is ReZero uh, Volume 1, Part 1. This is the Deluxe Edition. I do know that this series, is, there's a, a mapping error on the Blu-rays. I don't know if it's all the Blu-rays. I haven't checked yet. And there is a, a thing to submit the disc and Funimation will replace them or something like that. I don't know if I want to do that simply because I'm lazy and I don't want to send my stuff away. I, I don't know. But yeah, uh, this was on sale. This was originally like 80 bucks or something like that. And I ended up getting it for like 30 bucks, which is less than the standard edition for the very first volume, which, you know, it's insane. There's a ton of cool extras in here. Stuff I don't necessarily need, but it's cool nonetheless. Plus, you get a really fancy uh, box and you get the Blu-ray as well. Next up, uh, Barakamon Essential Edition, the whole thing. My Hero Academia, Season 3, Part 1. The Ancient Magus Bride, Part 2. <laughs> um, uh, thanks to my friend Adonis for helping me get this for dirt cheap money. This is One Piece Strong World, the Blu-ray. I cannot wait to watch this movie. 
And we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure set too. And it's not anime, but I did get from Kickstarter. My first ever Kickstarter backing. This is off the record with uh, Peter David. A three hour long interview with one of the greatest comic writers of all time, one of the greatest creators. And uh, yeah, you, you see it behind me over there with my Aquaman statue. Uh, one of the rewards for the DVD was getting a signed print. And of course, your boy here got uh, one of the limited Aquaman by Peter David uh, covers and it's signed by the man himself. So that is one of my most prized possessions. That is it guys, it's a small haul, I know. Uh, like I said, I'm missing a few books, but you'll see them eventually. If you want me to review any of the stuff that I featured on this video, let me know in the comment section down below. I will happily do so. As always, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, just being a part of an awesome community. I, I love it, and, and it's all possible because of you guys. Thank you so very much. Blessings to everybody. I wish you all nothing but the best. Um, I, I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.